This is Fallbrook Technologies' New Vinci Continuously Variable Planetary Transmission. New Vinci Technology is a new class of highly adaptable and scalable continuously variable transmissions. It promises to be the most practical and economical CVT for both human-powered and motor-powered vehicles and machines. The New Vinci Hub is a continuously variable planetary drivetrain. Continuously variable means there are no fixed gear ratios, and planetary refers to the way torque is transferred through the hub using a set of rotating balls positioned around a central point. Tilting the balls changes their contact diameters and varies the speed ratio. In this illustration of a New Vinci hub designed for bicycles, the blue ring on the left represents the output, the rear wheel of a bike. The red ring on the right represents the input, the sprocket being driven by pedaling. In the middle, you see the rotating ball supported and controlled by the idler. The control rod moves the idler back and forth. It is adjusted by twisting the shifter located on the bike's handlebar. As the rider adjusts the shifter, the idler moves from left to right, tilting the axis of the rotating balls and changing the transmission ratio. In underdrive, the input disc spins faster than the output disc, perfect for starting from a stop or climbing hills. As the rider smoothly adjusts the twist grip, both discs begin to spin at the same speed. Then, as the rider continues to adjust the shifter and overdrive is reached, the output disc spins faster than the input disc. Another unique feature of the New Vinci CVP is the way torque is transferred using a special fluid that fills the inside of the hub. As you can see in this illustration, there is a microscopic space between the rotating ball and both the input and the output discs. When the fluid passes through this microscopic space, the very high pressure of the rolling contact causes it to solidify momentarily. For that moment, the fluid has a rigid structure. This allows torque to be transferred between the ball and the disc. In addition to bikes, the New Vinci drivetrain delivers the same benefits, simplicity, stability, scalability, and lower manufacturing cost in any transmission-based device. That's right. The New Vinci CVP can be designed and built into a wide range of vehicles and machines, from light electric vehicles to light tractors and heavy agricultural equipment to cars and even to utility class wind turbines. For more information about the New Vinci CVP, talk to a Fallbrook Technologies representative. Once you get the full story, we think you'll be saying what we're saying. This changes everything. Tony Jungles with New Vinci. This is what the insides look like. There's eight spheres around this carrier. There's an input disc that's attached to the cog. The input disc drives the spheres, and the spheres drive the output disc, which is attached to the hub. So that's the power path through the mechanism. Now the way we get the different ratios, there's an axle through the sphere, and you'll see right now the axle's level. So the input disc touches the sphere here, the output disc touches the sphere here. Both those distances are the same, so that's one to one through the mechanism. Now when you turn the shifter, what happens is this shifts like this. So now the input disc touches a smaller radius than the output disc. The output disc makes a big radius. If you go the other way to get the other end of the ratio, it shifts like that. Now the input disc touches up here on a big radius, and the output disc touches on a small radius. 